peaches, welcome to Previewed, where friends don't let friends watch television alone. I'm Adam. And I'm Jay. And today we're going to react for you riffing at the end. We're going to rate the third episode of Disney's Star Wars' Da Bad Bitch. Da Bad Bitch. Or is now going to be referred to as, because people have been talking about it last week, Da Dad Batch. The Dad Batch. It's four clones and a little lady. <laughs> four clones, a little lady. And a killer robot, right? Who's the robot? Oh well, I I, I still I look. Snipey still one of he's bad dad. Oh, he's he still <laughs> one of them. That, you know what I mean? He's one of those. You know, he's technically one, he's like the the evil uncle at the moment. Yeah, he's yeah he's he's bad dad. So, he's coming for you. Technically, it is still five clones yeah. and a little lady. Five. Cl- <laughs> technically, yeah. Um, so yeah, things are off to a pretty good start. I, you know what? And people have been giving us a lot of sass in the comments. I don't know why that we somehow hate Omega. We no, don't. We love Omega. We like her. It, it's just really easy. It's just it's, she's just easy. It's easy. It's low hanging fruit, and we're just like yum yum. It getting is the, getting this pie. But she's. Mm-hmm. I think I was trying thinking about this since last week. Of all Star Wars, like young main characters. Yeah. Like, you know, being, like, introduced to the universe as a, as a whole. Okay. I think she's one of the most innocent ones. For sure. Because she's only been on Kamino. Yeah. And, like, doesn't, didn't even know the concept of dirt. Completely in a bubble. Completely, Completely in, a bubble. in a bubble. Not like Luke. Not like Ray, who, like, they did have... They were in a little bit of, yeah. a, little bit of a bubble, but yeah. had a general knowledge well, like, of what Rey was going on. like, Ray knew how to street fight. You know what I mean? Exactly. <clears throat> she understood the concept of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and how. <laughs> but, yeah, Omega's really, like, really seeing things for the first time. Yeah. And that is fun to see. Yeah. Also make jokes about, but also fun to see. Sure. And I don't think we've seen that before. So, yeah, Omega's great. All right. Oh, oh! I almost forgot again. <laughs> and people think uh, this is a bit. And it's, it's not, not a, a it's bit. It's not a bit. It's really not we a bit. We are just not that good at content. <laughs> if you would like to see the full reaction to this episode, it will be up on our Patreon very soon. There's yeah. a link down below. And you can join our Patreon. A lot of fun. Lots of cool stuff there. Okay. Here we go. Episode three. Uh, Bad Batch. The Dead Batch. Chow time. Oh, yum, yum. Oh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tube food. Yeah, nourishment tube. Hey, Omega doesn't even have a place to sleep. You want to take her food too? I mean, she is a stowaway. <laughs> how, how do you even eat that? Well, if you're... A uh, strong dad, you just kind of cram yeah. it in your mouth real quick. Yeah, I guess so. Swallow it whole, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, the... he... Behold, your geometric banana. <laughs> Get ready for your first crash landing. Crash? Omega, strap in. Jim, Kelsey? Oh, <laughs> I still think she needs a booster. A droid that big in a crash situation is such a liability. <laughs> huh? That was fine. Uh, you guys nailed it. I'll say it. I kind of miss him. He shot you, remember? Ha! Ah, I sure do. Oh, bad dad. <laughs> right now we need to find that capacitor and get off this rock. Yeah, bottle episode. Or not. Or not. Meanwhile. Meanwhile. Bad dad. Bad dad. Wow. Getting a sweet, <laughs> yeah. sweet tan. Laying the foundation of our new empire is of the utmost importance. Indeed. It sounds like Sam Whitwer. They've only been an empire for a short amount of time. Where did they get all these uniforms from so fast? Well, Palpatine was planning a way Palpatine ahead of time. was planning, but like, I want to see the montage of him talking to a tailor and figuring oh, out like yeah. what the looks are going to be, you know what I mean? Like the Emperor being like, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, Darth Vader walking out. Ah. Oh, just, there's no Darth Vader yet, but you know, you know what I mean. Yeah, I, I'm with you. There are other ways of producing loyal soldiers. Yes, we could kidnap children. No, no, no. That's yeah. too, that's too evil even for us. Yeah, we'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> Top soldiers from across the galaxy. Imagine. It looks like they just hit random on the character collection <laughs> screen four times. I believe it will strengthen the future of this burgeoning empire. Yeah, how do you feel about that? Huh? Because they're taking your germ. At what point are the are the Caminos Caminoans? Camino, yeah, I'd say. 
Why don't they just gonna be like, look, if you're not gonna buy clones, get out of here. Like, what are we doing here? Careful, those capacitors hold massive charge. Your mom holds a massive charge. I don't have a mom, I'm a clone. You should know better than to run and look. Don't run and look. It's an alien planet. Yeah, that looks safe to approach. You have an air you have an air filter on, which indicates to me that you assume this planet is a deadly place to be, and yet <laughs> Space 101, homie. I must have hit my head in a crash. I think uh, it's time for Rucker to be on concussion protocol. Some kind of creature. About this big, with the long tail, it ran off with the part. I really like Omega's voice. Yeah. That's a New Zealand accent, right? I think. I think, yeah, I think so. It's, I really like it. I'll go with you. No. no. That thing could be dangerous. No. <laughs> We're on, yeah. Hey, you're 11. We're in the middle of space. <laughs> no. You could get swallowed in one gulp. Hey, Omega, what skills are you bringing to the table out there, girly? I don't mean to be a jerk. Ow. I think his chip I is think freaking chi out. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. The loyalty of those who willingly enlist is what I see tremendous value in. Yeah, he's right. He's not wrong. Yeah, that's... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ideology is is a pretty strong weapon if you sharpen it well enough. I don't know why we're like praising the Empire on there. <laughs> <laughs> good, yeah, good good idea, guys. Yeah, you really want... They're not buying my clones! I'm gonna go pout. Is that face capable of pouting? The Camino face? Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, they look sad. You say, why the long neck? Now it's my turn to hate you. <laughs> yeah, it's really <laughs> stupid. That's really dumb. Could I learn to trek like you? Well, if you shut the hell up, maybe. <laughs> we don't leave our own behind. Then we'll find a way to get him back. Somehow. Oh. Gotta go get bad, Dad. She, she's the heart. I know, man. Yeah. She's Mati. Yeah. Heart! Yo. Enjoy being commander. For now. We'll see how things shake out. Oh, I'm gonna leave you for dead, homie. Ooh, ooh, I'm gonna feed you to space kitties. Wait, a sensor's been triggered in Sector 2A. Alert the others! Oh, we're gonna see handsome Saw Gerrera again? Looks like. We learned anything from this show. Saw Gerrera saw, like, yeah. <laughs> saw 12 parsecs of tough road. <laughs> that thing is, is kind of cute. I want one. Oh. <laughs> okay, Amiga, you can do this. You're in for a world of pain, Dragon. Omega's gonna come <laughs> just, just put that blaster in your mouth and pull it till it clicks. Yeah, that that's her clone thing. She's got the bloodlust chip. <laughs> just wigs out. <laughs> 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 I was this is a level of savagery I was not anticipating. Flamethrower, really? I think we can make this. Yo. Yo. Bad dad. Wow. I was not expecting that level of holy jeez. Wow. That was, that was savage, dude. Hey. Pull it till it clicks, Omega. Pull it till it clicks. Oh, it eats energy. Okay. Oh, 
That's very pretty. I want one. Can you give, <laughs> give me one. Do you know what the energy bill would be? I want a feast. Oh. <laughs> I want an electric dragon. With cream buns and donuts and fruitcake with no nuts. I want one knife, Daddy. <laughs> Is that my blaster? Don't worry. I didn't have to use it. I got the part. I used something way deadlier than a, uh, a gun. Love. My mom won't blame And a bat to undercut Adam's joke. Right in the knees. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> that was, it was better. <laughs> I just thought you had the better, you know, the better answer, right? Yeah. <laughs> With more time and training, our forces will be unlike mm. anything the galaxy has so seen. So why not a little bit of both? Get a little vanilla chocolate swirl, baby! The original genetic material from Django Fat continues to degrade. Your experiment can yield a superior clone. It will secure our relationship oh, with this empire. Evil Omega. The clones required will not return willingly. They are Kaminoan property. Kaminoan. So the empire is not come not gonna be going after the Bad Batch. It's gonna be the Kaminoans. Kaminoans. You know the empire's still going after him. I don't think so. Rampart's gonna be leading the the mixed. Mixing of the troops. Yeah, but I don't think they're really that worried about it. But the Camino seems to really be interested in them. Well, everyone's got their stake in the story now. Cover your eyes. <laughs> you made a bed for her. Oh. Check it out. What? It, what? You made her little room. Oh. That's very sweet. It's your own. Room. And he <laughs> gave her his doll. Thank you, Rika. <laughs> oh, it was nothing. Thanks, Strong Dad. Oh, Strong Dad. It is also the bathroom, so you have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a. Uh... Oh, that's Wrecker. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Wow. I actually, this might be my favorite episode so far. In that, I like that the things that I like about this show, the moments that I like are the ones that are world building, the, like the, the burgeoning empire and what that means for like the, the, the Camino and the clones. That's fascinating to me. That is very interesting because like uh, Camino, like trying to protect their interest is like actually pretty interesting. Yeah. Like, it's giving me like trade federation feels, but in a good way. In oh, that I was like, like, okay, backstory you understand as to yes. why they're doing a thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And uh, yeah, it's very good. It's very good. This seems to be. I know we're only three episodes in, but probably the best felony driven animated Star Wars we've had so far. And here's why. Okay. So we had we had we had between Clone Wars, Rebels, and this. Yeah. Clone Wars is just kind of like adventures in between episodes two and three. Filling out the Clone Wars itself. Yeah. Cool, interesting, but just like kind of filling in a gap in the story of yeah. be between two movies, right? Sure. Rebels is kind of like adventures during the Empire's occupation. Here are some new characters fighting against the Empire. Too many lightsabers. Well, I, I think that's part of, like, I think Star Wars is better when there's like, there are lightsabers, but it's not everywhere. Are you saying Clone Wars or Rebels are too many lightsabers? Honestly, just like both of them, for the most part. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like... For me, I think that's kind of where the prequels break down a little bit, too. Like, in the second one, I was still like, there was just too many Jedi, and I was like, oh, these aren't special anymore. It's that's, just kind of like, ah, lightsaber everywhere. All right, they, 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 like, when someone lights up a lightsaber, like, in Mando season two, you're like, like, it's like, ooh, like, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. I'm like, yeah, like, when, <laughs> yeah, when Ahsoka comes out, just like, blam, I'm like, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But this is like, cool. This is Jedi light. And I never thought I would say that, but I actually appreciate that. Yeah. It's very good. So, like, Clone Wars had, like, one pretty much one direction of Anakin and Ahsoka deal with, or, or other Jedi characters, like, deal with, a, you know, a battle on a planet doing this thing, right? Yeah. So there's a little bit of, I mean, there's a lot of world building, but, like, it was, like, basically, like, the one story. We're dealing with the Clone Wars. Uh -huh. And then Rebels, like, we're dealing with a small Rebel sect trying to uh, start up the Rebel Alliance. And yeah. Like, but, like, it was all, like, one kind of one note. This seems to be, like... There's a, lot, there's a lot. There seems to be more going on in this story 
than the other two shows. It's a it's it's got it's a fuller world. That's it exactly. Well, because I mean, Clone Wars was it was you know it was about a war. It was pretty straightforward. But this yeah. is like this is like hey, we're starting the Empire. What does that mean? Exactly. We're figuring it out. How does the Empire work? How do the what, what do we do with the, the troopers? What's Omega's deal with the thing? Yeah. What, the Bad Batch is apparently more important to the Kaminoans because they have Kaminoans. 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 There we go. Because they can be like a different breed of clones for them to continue their business. Is it Omega or is it the the Bad Batch? That's the question. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of different things going on at once. We got the beginning of the, well, the, kind of the beginning of the resistance to the Empire with Saw Gerrera out yeah. there that we've probably gone back to him a couple times now yeah. in three episodes. Like, there seems to be a lot going on here. Plus, like, they murdered those guys barely off screen. I was not. Like, with a flamethrower. I was with a flamethrower. Yo. <laughs> the old Tatooine special. I was not. I'm sorry. They're, they're kind of up in the ante a little bit in a way that I... I appreciate. I was honestly that was savage. I was wow. prepared for Omega to straight murk that uh, uh, that electric dragon. Like having her being like, "Well, this is when I, my yeah. uh, my innocence kind of gets broken." Yeah, it's like... gets broken a little bit. <laughs> yeah, mm. I was. I like this. I guess that's what where the show's going because, like, at some point, she's gonna have to like she's gonna be put in a situation where her oh, morals will probably be like, "Well, oh, I got yeah. it." I mean, she already shot Bad Dad to to save a uh, Knife Daddy, so like. At some point, it's just pretty deep, man. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Jay, how would you rate episode three of the Dad Bitch? The Dad Bitch is getting is getting one out of one electric dragon kitties. I would like one. I want to. I'll feed it all of my electronics, and Kimberly will be really mad. But like, I need a new phone. She's like, "Did you feed it to? Did you feed it to Dimitri, the electric dragon?" I'm like, yes, I did. I'm so sorry, but he was so cute, and he, he was begging he for was it. Glowing, the big he glowed so pretty. He was glowing so pretty. <laughs> it's like our electric bill is astronomical. Oh my god! How would you guys rate this episode? Let us know in the comments below or how about our Discord channel where lots of fun, cool people are talking about lots of fun, cool stuff. We'd love to have you join that conversation. Link is down below in our description box. So right now, then please like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Do that YouTube that you do so well. Guacamole's extra. You bad dad fighting weirdos. You let's go get him and turn him good again. Even though maybe he's also got a lot of blood on his hands, but who doesn't in this world, right? <laughs> you're right other episodes probably the right yeah please watch this we would appreciate it as much as we appreciate you watching this one we'll see you guys next time bye, bye.